lack of capital. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how you can overcome that answer that you gave to the question, what's the biggest struggle you have with real estate investing right now? And if you said lack of capital, then here's some tips and tricks for you uh, to get over that. Uh, first thing you, and it's super simple, right? It's super simple. And this applies to folks who have um, negative net worth to millions of dollars in net worth. If you have lack of capital for your next venture, the simple exercise is going to help you overcome that. Now it does take time. Real estate investing, just as a reminder, is not a get rich quick scheme, regardless of what you see and hear on podcasts and YouTube from people who want to, uh, you, you know, sell you a course or whatnot. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It takes time. It does take money. It's, it's one of those things. Anyway, I'm going to get off on tangent. I'm not going to do that. So here's what I want you to do uh, right now, or if you're driving, you know, and you're listening to this, uh, when you can get to a spot where you can do this safely, here's what I want you to do. Go to your calendar. Doesn't matter if it's your work calendar, if it's your personal calendar, your Google calendar, does not matter. Set up a daily reminder and it's going to be a 15 minute time block and you mark it as busy. So nobody else books, books that time, but you mark that 15 minute time block, uh, and you're going to title it raise capital, right? Number one, you're going to do that raise cap. You're going to title it raise capital because it, you're starting to be reminded daily. Oh, I need to do this. I know I need to do this. Uh, there are going to be days by the way, uh, where life happens, and you're not going to be able to make do what I'm about to ask you to do. Just simply just make one phone call, right? But you get that daily reminder. You daily reminder, raise capital, raise capital. And so what you're going to do in this 15-minute time block is you're going to pick up your phone and you're going to dial one person. You're, you're going to dial until you make one connection. A connection is where you have a conversation about real estate investing and your needs for capital for your next deal, which you probably don't even have under contract yet, right? It's best to raise capital. It's kind of like the old saying, it, it's it's uh, the best time, um, what is it? Uh, not, well, there's one about planting a tree. Best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago, but the best time to dig a well was, is not when you're thirsty, right? And so same thing with raising capital is um, always, always be raising capital. It takes about 15 minutes a day. So, Here's who you call. Some of you are like, well, yeah, I, I can set the reminder, um, but I don't have anybody to call, and I'm gonna I'm gonna prove that uh, incorrect. By the way, there are there are I'm gonna give you three different ways that you can stir up conversations uh, regarding needing capital. Number one, you're going to see a lot of people tell you, hey, post about it on social media. I I don't recommend that strategy. Um, Although I mentioned it here, it's kind of ironic. I don't recommend it because a, it's going to bring out people from the woodwork and you don't necessarily know who they are, right? Uh, there are a lot of scammers out there. Just it, it is what it is. There are a lot of scammers out there. Uh, number two, if you post on social media, if your if your boss is following you on social media, you may have to answer some questions about that. HR might get involved. I'm speaking from experience. Just don't post about it on social media. Um, but the second thing is, you, or, or, or kind of thing you can do is start with your five closest friends, right? Call them up. Doesn't matter how long you has been since you talked to them. Just call them up and say, look, I don't know if you know this, but I'm interested in real estate investing or I've been in real estate investing. There's a really huge red cardinal right there. Just making this. So if, sorry. I don't know if I, I got distracted, but anyway, there's a red cardinal, a uh, huge bird right here in front of me, um, next to the bird feeder, making a lot of noise. Anyway, uh, where was it? Start with your close five closest friends, dial them up say, look, this is what I want to get into. Um, and ask them if they would be interested in exploring it with you. Right. If they say no, or if they've said no in the past, then what you do, the way you follow up to that, that, you know, a rejection is you just basically say, okay, well, who do you know that already invests in real estate or who do you know has some potential capital, um, that I can might possibly partner up with or talk to about how they got into their situation. And so now you have the next person you're going to call tomorrow. Right. And by the way, when you do that, when you ask for who, who they know, then you politely ask for that introduction, right? Because if you just, Google the person or, or find their number and call them, 
it's going to be a lot harder to, to get, have that conversation with them than say, Hey, my buddy, I was talking to him yesterday about my ambitions or my desires for this project or for this next project in real estate investing. He brought your name up and uh, gave me your number. Got, got a few minutes to chat. Right. And so you start with your five closest friends and you're going to get this momentum wheel going, right? You're going to get this momentum wheel going. And then the third option is you can join a mastermind. Now, a mastermind, in my eyes, is a group of people who have been vetted, right? Um, that they are real estate investing. Uh, they have some uh, investing experience or aspirations. So these folks are doing, already doing and having the conversations that you need to be having to raise capital. And when I talk about a mastermind, I'm talking about um, folks who have a, a, a group, excuse me, a group that has a wide range of not only experience, but different niches, right? And you ideally, you want to join a mastermind that has three groups of folks, people who are investing or have your um, level of experience, people who are above your level of experience, so you can learn from, and then people who are below your level of experience, so you can teach them. Um, one of the best things uh, that's helped me in my real estate investing career is being able to give back. I feel like I give back, uh, or excuse me, I get more out of giving back than I do from the guys who are more experienced than me. It's, it's just a weird phenomenon. Um, you also want to join a mastermind that focuses on multiple niches. <clears throat> excuse me. There are a lot of masterminds who are focused on one single niche. Uh, and that may be good for a season, but you want to focus on some that, uh, or you want to join a master. Sorry. Got distracted. I thought my son was going to burst out here and, and, uh, interrupt me. Interruption happened. There he goes. Um, but you want to find one that has multiple niches. Uh, so you can, as the market shifts and you want to start looking at different assets, you're already plugged into, um, that community, right? You're already plugged into that community. You're already plug, plugged into those folks, right? And so that you are, you have started to know, uh, pretty well. Um, so that's, that's that. Let me see. That's it. 